Hello everyone. Now you will hear a short retelling of the film by Robinson Lone. Enjoy watching. A man named Kim, a bank employee, was informed that his loan debt is $200,000. Kim thanks him for giving him confidence and jumps off the bridge into the river. However, a complete loser still has a drop of luck and is thrown ashore by the current. Dirty and wet Kim looked around, tried to turn on the phone, but Motorola shows no signs of life. Here's a fool, I couldn't even die normally. I will move overland to the skyscraper, Kim decided through the thickets, but there is also water on the other side of the island. The Korean is stuck on a desert island, right in the middle of the metropolis. The very next day, a passenger saw him passing by the ferry, but only waved back at him. To clarify his plight, the man wrote the word help in the sand. After drying, Motorola still turned on, but the call to the rescue service did not help him. After hearing the story about an uninhabited island, the operators simply sent it. The battery was literally left for one call and Kim dialed his ex, but she just hung up. The rest of the charge was spent listening to an advertising offer from a mobile operator. Kim gathers his strength to decide to swim to the city shore, but the trouble is, he does not know how to swim at all. Kim has been going to the bottom all his life. The company in which he worked went bankrupt, the girl betrayed him and abandoned him, even if he gets out of his island prison, the problems will not go away. Throwing a tie around his neck, the loser makes another attempt to pass away. But his plans were disrupted by a sharp attack of diarrhea at that moment. A siren is heard announcing the start of military exercises. Immediately, naked assed Kim decides to refresh himself with sweet sage flowers. The man burst into tears. Now he's dripping from both back and front. After drinking dirty river water, Kim found mushrooms and refreshed himself. Like any self-respecting Robinson, Kim tries to get fire by rubbing sticks, but for him it's just a game. The smoker has a lighter, at night there is nothing to do. Kim first shouts at the city, and then takes off his pants and cracks his sausages. The peculiarity of this island is that a huge amount of garbage has gathered on it and Robinson decides to pile up his riches. One day he sees her, the duck of his dreams. Kim resigned himself to a new life and changed the inscription help to hello, but the issue of nutrition has not yet been resolved. The net didn't come out of the burlap, the ducks are too attentive, and Kim pierces his leg with a homemade spear, so the mushroom diet continues. He also can't get to the eggs. The Korean washes his head with a cleaning agent and the fish swam by itself from this poison. Today Kim had a very tasty snack with leftover fish. In the morning, the bird also died, and finally a squirrel appeared in the hermit's diet. Lying in the meadow, Kim realized that he had found his place in this world. It's time to meet the second heroine, a girl with a disfigured face, who last left the room three years ago. Her whole life is spent on the internet, where she communicates and works. Her room is littered with garbage, there is a barn lock on the door, and Kim's mother's questions are answered with SMS messages. Yes, the girl's name is exactly the same as our Robinson. Kim sleeps in her closet on the chest of polyethylene and her schedule is painted every minute, and she goes to the shower only when she stays alone in the apartment. She counts every calorie and takes 10,000 steps a day. In the evening, Kim finds time for his hobby, photographing the moon. She likes to do this because no one lives on the satellite. Only twice a year during military exercises, the recluse allows herself to look outside during the day, but for 20 minutes the city becomes empty and looks like her favorite moon. It is at this moment that the girl notices the inscription on the sand, and then Robinson's grief. This scares Kim and she hides in the closet. She can't sleep at night now. This time the girl pointed the lens of her camera not at the moon, but again at the island just at the moment when Robinson was proudly cowering with his dignity. The alien is a pervert. The recluse concluded, Kim is no longer interested in sitting at the computer. Now she captures the life of an unusual person on camera. Robinson is having fun playing golf with cones and this time is hiding from a passing ferry. At this moment, he finds a crumpled package of black bean instant noodles. Inside, he discovers the seasoning and looks at it like a bar of gold. At night in a dream, Kim sees noodles in a lot of sauce and now wants to make his own but the collected ground grass looks more like dirt, not dough. How stupid Kim used to be when he refused black bean noodles every time. 
Kim was already desperate to try to cook noodles, but then it dawned on him, his duck is covered with a lot of bird droppings. And what do birds eat? That's right, grains and seeds. Kim scooped up all the litter with a credit card, made beds, scattered the litter and fertilized everything on his own. The old bottle turned out to be fashionable sneakers, and Kim himself noticed that he became more resourceful and quick-witted on the island. After hard work, the man realized that he produces salt with his body and that it is quite tasty. Kim wore a scarecrow in his costume. He is very proud of the work done in his garden. Meanwhile, Kim's girlfriend is collecting alien data. In her opinion, he is shy, likes dirty things and adventures. Well, in general, he is a complete jerk and, importantly, dreams of black bean noodles. Can she get into his world and someday land on Earth? Kim ordered a robot toy and a bottle of wine by mail. Then she paved the way to the bridge on the map, and then she does something incredible, leaves her apartment. Wearing a motorcycle helmet, she uses a wind-up toy to distract the guard and runs behind his back. A multicolored umbrella helps her hide from cars. Finally, she reached the highway passing directly over the island and threw the message in a bottle into the darkness. The next morning, the sleepy girl first of all rushed to the camera, hoping to see an answer from the alien on the sand, but nothing changed. After that, three months have passed. Kim has already arranged his life well. He has learned to catch river fat and climb trees. The man salts the food with his collected sweat and even brews something like a seagull. The first sprout has just appeared in the garden. In search of useful garbage, Kim notices the same bottle on the tree, and inside finds a leaf with a barely noticeable inscription, Hello. A man complains to a scarecrow that someone is watching him, perhaps a pervert, and just in case he puts his pants back on. After three months and 17 days, the girl finally received an answer and is very happy about it. How are you? The alien is interested in her. Another robot performed a distracting function, another bottle flew to the island. On the way back, Kim did not even immediately run into the house, but admired nature. In the next message, she asked how Robinson was doing, and he replied in the same way. The vegetable garden is slowly growing, and Kim is in full communication with the scarecrow. It turned out that it was behind him that the best corn bush with grains was hiding. The girl came up with what gift to give her to her pen pal. She ordered food delivery to the island and the poor courier gets to it on a catamaran dock. Sweating and exhausted, he finds the residence of Kim, who, like an animal, tried to hide from him behind a bush. The deliver man lays out everything that the girl ordered, ordinary bomb noodles, noodles with onions, seafood, and fried dumplings bonus. The slogan of the company, we will deliver food anywhere, worked against him today. But Kim gives him all the plates back and the finally exhausted courier brings food to the girl's house, who no longer felt his legs. She looked out and asked the guy if the hermit had said something to him. It turned out that Kim had asked her to tell her that the bowl of noodles was his hope and the girl Kim tasted the great hope of this man. Today, for the first time in years, the girl appeared in front of her mother, albeit with a strange request, to buy seeds and everything that is needed for their cultivation. The guard already has a collection of three robots. In her next letter, Kim asked Kim for forgiveness. Today he decided to entertain the girl with a performance on the sand. Her entire wall is covered with pictures of Robinson. It's time to harvest. The extracted grains are ground. After adding water, a lump of dough is formed. Kim rolled out the bottle and cut into strips. The noodles are boiled and finally he opens the seasoning he has stored. When Kim picks up the sticks taken from the courier, tears roll into his eyes. Finally, he was able to taste the taste of hope. It's hard for Kim to hold back his sobs. This time the food is salted with his tears. The recluse also congratulates her friend on the victory. She is no longer comfortable sleeping in the closet on a bubble wrap. Taking a pillow, she stretched out on the floor of the room next to the plants. After receiving congratulations in writing, Kim picked up the phone and imagined talking to his girlfriend. He was wondering who she was and he was asking this question in the sand. Kim prints out a photo of some girl from the internet, but does not dare to cheat. A man runs around the island all day and is looking for a new bottle, which, alas, is not there. Why? His next question is in the sand. Embarrassed, Kim closed the curtains and returned to the computer, but trouble was waiting for the girl on her website. 
she was found out that she was using other people's photos and impersonating another person. She was sent in the chat and called names in every possible way. Trouble came to Kim's island. His Eden was covered by a typhoon. A man is trying to save his crop from destruction and simultaneously calms the scarecrow and sprouts. With all his might, he tries to keep his native catamaran duck on the island, but the elements are stronger than a man and he has to let his house float freely in the midst of stormy waters. The recluse sees the chaos left behind by the typhoon and the devastated Kim all his labors and efforts were destroyed overnight. Out of anger, he sends an observer. Suddenly, two guys appeared behind Kim's back. They arrived on the island to clean up the garbage after the hurricane. Kim runs away, and the guys give chase, but it turned out that a dozen and a half cleaners sailed to the island and they broke the poor Robinson with the whole crowd without any problems. In a fever, one of them even kicked Kim the defeated man asks to leave him here, but they tell him that this is a nature reserve and people are not allowed to enter here. His effigy was stripped, and his tin head was crushed. Kim was watching all this intensely. The girl understands that she probably sees her alien for the last time in her life and she needs to do something so as not to lose him. Blinded by daylight, the recluse runs out into the street in her home clothes. She looks strange and foreign, everyone looks back at her. Left in the middle of a city street, Kim no longer looks like a Robinson, but like an ordinary homeless person. Kim decided to go back to the old plan to fly and is heading for a skyscraper. The girl has to rely on intuition and guess where he could go. Kim gets on the bus, which should lead him to the last stop in his life, and the other Kim cries and continues to run with the last of her strength. Unfortunately, she could not catch up with her friend, but suddenly a siren sounds, and during military exercises all transport stops and the girl gets another chance. She jumps on the bus, approaches her alien and tells him her name. Finally, these two strange people from out of this world met.